Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Link's Crossbow Training with me, the Doctor. In the last episode, we beat levels 1, 2, 3, and 4, yielding us 3 silver medals and 1 spooky gold medal, which is pretty good. I think I said metal instead of medals there. I mean, technically, uh, silver metals as well, I assume, because silver is a metal, unless it's a colour of some kind of... Anyway, level 5, which gives us Uka Target Practice, Druda Moldorm Ambush, and Kakariko Shootouts. Kakariko Shootouts awesome, because it's the based on the... Hidden Village section. But this for now is obviously shoot the Uka targets. Be careful not to shoot the Uka themselves. Uh, should go without saying, but you never know. I think you can pump some points out of P-Hats here, like one at a time. Not massively worth it, is it? The Uka tend to come at crazy angles here, so if I remember correctly, so this is actually quite a difficult one. Um, and because they're moving so much, even just using zoom is challenging. And hitting the fuckers is so easy to do, and not only does it lose your points, but obviously it goes without saying, wrecks your combo. So I'm probably not going to hit most of them, or not... Ah, many of them here. I'm just going to kind of try and focus on being smart, he says. Really, it doesn't go well for me. Oh, ah, see there, if you shoot the kind of join point between... You shoot literally the Uka's feet where it's holding the target on, it'll just drop the target, uh, which is mildly annoying. Where is it? Oh, that one's towing too. That's interesting. Kind of. Man, I'm doing god-awful on this. It goes without saying, consecutive stages in the game get hard. Oh, right in the mouth. Oh, I nailed him. No points for that, though. Actually, negative points. I did technically get points. I just got minus 150 points. I remember taking ages to grasp that in maths, but I was very pleased when I finally did the concept of what happens when you add negative numbers together. Because my maths teacher explained it in terms of money. Uh, oh, shit. So he said, like... Because we're talking about, like, if you add a negative number to a negative number, kind of like, what happens? And obviously it goes more negative, because let's imagine... You owe someone a fiver, so you're negative five, and he then, you then, something happens, and you smash his window, let's say, I think it was on my math teacher explained it, you smash his window, and therefore he gives you a bill for another fiver, so you're a negative number, and he's given you another negative number, so I added a negative number, and that brings you down to negative ten. Whereas if we were to give you a fiver, it would kind of bring it up, and I remember, because I always used to get confused by if you add two negatives, do they cancel out? But no, they don't, they actually continue going down because you're being given a bill. But anyway, enough enough of maths lessons. On to Gerudo Moldorm Ambush. Uh, this is a kind of, it's like the Stalfos one, but a bit more challenging that you've got Moldorms to shoot. And you can only obviously shoot them once they're out of the ground. Radar, as ever, on these ambush levels is your friend, though, and you get occasional louvers. Louvers, just zoom in and pick them off as they come past you like this. They're not called louvers, they're called levers. Louvers, I think, are something in engineering that I believe pushes things, like a kind of weird type of fan. Though I'm not entirely sure on that. Right. Uh, I'm doing well on combo so far. Holy shit. And that was an incredible shot there. I just twitched and got him. I'm like a goddamn gunslinger in this game. Well, crossbow slinger thing. Oh, look at that. Keep an eye on your um, radar at that bit so you just don't shoot too far. Oh, look at that. 50,000. Have I shot... Ev Is that for just shooting everyone so far? Oh, I'm so good. This is really counterbalanced. Oh, damn it. That has really counterbalanced the shit Uka target practice one, though, so I'm, I'm pleased with that, at least. Don't forget, as well, because, like I always do, about the fact that you can press and hold B to charge up a shot. Because um, it's never really useful, because obviously it fucks up your combo, so... I, I guess it must be useful at some point. Anyway, we should hopefully get gold, despite an abysmal opening performance. Ah, no, it's that Kakariko shootout, and I like this one, because it's just the Hidden Village, which is one of my favourite little parts of the section... Uh, parts of the section, parts of the game. Uh, I don't think they fire... Oh, no, they absolutely do fire on you, way more than the ones in the Bulbling Encampment do. But you can take a lot of them out from a distance here. Hehehe. <laughs> um, just because it's all about sniping, which is much easier to do in this, because you can actually zoom in than it is in the actual game. Well, I mean, you have the sniper bow in the game, but let's face it, you'd never really actually use that, because it's not just a zoom in like that, it's like it kind of brings you into a really awkward to use scope mode, where you've got to press plus to zoom in, and it's really not not what it should have been, that, um, that particular implement. The Hawkeye as a whole, you never really ever use. But then again, when do you ever use the lucky implement in a Zelda game? Like, one rarely uses, I think, the telescope. Ooh, orange rupee, I'll take it. Um, yeah, you never use, like, the telescope in Wind Waker that much, or at least I don't. Uh, now this is probably one of the first few ones where I might fail to kill all of the enemies, because these ones, much like the real Hidden Village, are quite tricky to find all of them! Oh my goodness. Right, let's try that again. One, two, three. Nailed it. Oh, look at me go. Right, how the fuck do I get in there? Or do I just shoot from in here? Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm going to shoot him right up the arsehole. Oh, that's going to be the shot of the century. Wallop! Oh, no! That fence thing's real. Hey! <laughs> right in the left arm. Oop. Danger. Oh, there's one right above me. That's why. There's several right above me. Oh, my goodness. Ah! 
Explosions! Right, I need to get into this back alley somehow. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to kill all of them, am I? Nah, some of them are craftily hiding. I don't know where they are. I was thinking of where they were in the actual game location. Well, I mean, I still got gold. I nearly got spooky gold. But yeah, I was thinking of where they were in the actual game. They didn't really get spooky gold, that's a lie. But yeah, I was thinking of where they were in the actual game rather than when they are in Link's crossbow training, so... That's... that's how it gets you. Right, on to the next stage. So, here we are, back to Ord on target range. Carriage, Escort, and Snow Peak Ruins encounter. Yeah, you can tell level 6 of 9 is when they started to somewhat run dry on ideas by... Let's go back to Ord on again. Obviously, this is a little bit more challenging then than the first level, I should go without saying. Because I, I believe it's the kind of it's rather than being split into discrete sections, the camera is slowly moving through all of them. So it's all about <sighs> fucking idiot. So let's say again, like, oh, it's all about being careful. Oh, we're in the section. We're nearly in the section that's apparently walled off in Twilight Princess HD for some reason. It's like I mentioned in the last episode, if you watch that, well, we were on zero combo anyway. Yeah, I think I struggle with the ones where uh, where stuff's moving a lot more because I can be quite accurate in this game. <clears throat> Ooh, dear me. Oh, you know when you suddenly just like, within like half a second, your throat's just like, I'm dry now. Like, I didn't have a particularly dry mouth, but... Oh, something just happened. It was just like, oh, yep, yeah, no, apparently I just swallowed the Sahara. Bees, bees, bees. Um, which is unpleasant. Oh, I need a drink. Holy shit. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Oh, there's a glass of water over there. I've got four seconds left, I'll do it. Oh, wow, well, that was all right. Now, 4,000, that's terrible. I'm gonna go and grab a glass of water. <sighs> oh, Lord. Ah, I can breathe again. Oh, well, not breathe, speak. I mean, I can breathe as well, uh, but that wasn't really been limited before. Anyway, carriage escort. Enemies are attacking. Fend them off and save the carriage. This is slightly less annoying than the actual carriage escort part of the real game. I believe you can look around again here, but this is one of those ones where it, for some reason, doesn't give you a... Um, it doesn't give you a radar, even though there's, like, a lot of enemies around. Aim for the bulblins, not the bulbors. You will still get points for hitting the bulbors, but you get a shit ton more for actually hitting the bulblins, so really focus on them. But once you shoot the driving one off, obviously it gets a lot harder to then hit the one on the back. Fire arrows, as you can see there, cause you to lose your combo in an infuriating manner. I have a feeling I'm not going to do so well on this world as a whole. Like, well, a world, I mean stage. This might be where your bomb arrows are useful. Okay, so they do absolutely keep your combo bomb arrows. That's cool. That's worth knowing. Oh, but you have to press and hold B and see. So oh, okay, so the shot you lo loose to kind of charge up the thing must hit in order for your combo to be properly maintained. Okay, I've actually done all right score wise there. Not as well as I could have done them. Mmm, 10,000. Fuck, I'm going to struggle to bronze. I need to get 6,000 in this last one. This oh, this is a Ranger one, if I remember correctly, the Chill Foss one. Yeah, it is. This one, I think, we remember being quite fun, but Chill Foss are a bit annoying to kill in this. Much like in the real game. And I don't have a ball and chain or anything on me. I think they take a number of shots to kill. Oh, no, they don't. That's a lie. Oh, no, they do if they block you. Well, you can artificially pump up your combo that way, at least. As long as you don't shoot too quickly, you'll be fine. Because they take about, they'll block about five shots, so it means, yeah, crafty. You can really just inflate that combo artificially. Oh, keys. Well, a single coos. It's not coos. It's never been coos, idiot. But yeah, I think I'm probably not going to kill all of them here, but I'd rather actually just focus on killing the ones I can and getting a decent combo on it, rather than, like, rushing through it to try and kill all of them. Aw, oh, dicks! Well, I was just saying about being as careful as possible. Good one, Doctor. Idiot. Man, they're really, they can really fuck you when they're up on all these high parapets. Um, is there any door open here? Oh, I need to go through here, don't I? Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Straight in the dick. Okay, so if you count to five, actually, it's quite handy. She can actually count properly the number of hits it takes. Ah, oh, no, and that one didn't, wasn't blocking me properly, so. One, two, three, four, five. That didn't really go as I planned. There's a number of them there. I've done quite well on this just from abusing their blocking, though, really. Might actually still kill all of them, just. There's that one up there, who's dead. Two of them left. Are they all both through here? Because if so, that'll be extremely handy. Oh my goodness! They are. Hey! That went really well in the end, actually. Yeah, you get 500 for kind of completing whatever it sets as the level's thing, and 500 times whatever your multiplier is at the point, so if you kind of keep it all the way through the level, very good. Ah, recovered it to silver in the end from a weak start. Excellent. On to level 7. 
underground target range, City in the Sky Defense, and Retaking the Temple of Time! I love Retaking the Temple of Time, it's such a fun one. Um, but yeah, we start off in Arbiter's Grounds. As you can see, this explores pretty much every part of, um, every bit of, like, map of Twilight Princess, so it's quite nice. And yeah, just, it fitted so naturally as a bonus to this, rather than being its own standalone thing. Because in reality, I'd never do it as its own standalone thing, because who thinks, man, I really want to watch the Doctor spend, like, two episodes playing Link's crossbow training. It just seemed really, yeah, there was no good place I could fit it in as a series, and it's not something I, I mean, it's a fun well, I was going to say game, but one has to be careful there, because it's not really a game, it's more of a concept, more of a kind of proof of concept, so um, these will follow the spinner rails here, which I think is quite cool, the uh, targets, so you got to watch for them to do that. Um, yeah, it's more of a kind of proof of concept than it is a game, yeah, watch out for the crosses in that bit, because they can really screw you over um, by you not seeing it there. One, two, one. Um... Yeah, so I wouldn't even really class this as a full game in itself. It's the only reason I own, by the way, the Wii Zapper is because it literally came with this game. Uh, and I bought it for something like, was either 10 or 15 pounds. It definitely wasn't like full retail price. Oh, Redead Knights. I believe these take a couple of shots before they die. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to open fire into the crowd at random. Can't say that. Absolutely cannot say that. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll cut that in the future, I think. Uh, either way, yeah, there's, I don't know if you can actually defeat all the Redhead Knights here, but you can certainly just mince up a lot of score from them. 22,000, not bad for Stage 1. Stage 2, City in the Sky Defense. Aerophos can fly high or attack from the ground, so watch your radar. Yeah, they can, the cheeky little bastards. And basically, you just need to, it's the usual, just pump shots into them and they'll block some of them and then they'll stop blocking them. I think we're actually in, oh, there we go. Headshots of your friend here, the way you actually really kill them. Um, they'll block everything else. Combo is hard to maintain on this one. I've always found combo hard against flying moving targets anyway. Oh, you can actually shoot their wings off. That's how we cause them to come to the ground. That's kind of cool. Oh my god. There we go. Right. Got some there. Oh, it's actually got the Aerophos. Not the Aerophos, the Argorok music playing. I think they literally need to be on the ground before you can kill them. Oh, you can just kill him in one with a bomb arrow. I'll just do that. Fuck it. That's actually probably going to get me better in terms of points, is just getting the 300 from killing him rather than actually trying to do anything fancy with the combo. Fuck, that is a hard level, that one. I suppose we are getting towards the end of the game now, so... Might get silver if I do particularly well on this last one. What was it? Oh, it's retaking the Temple of Time. I do love this one. We'll go for that. We've got automatic for a while. I don't think there's any in this level, so... You can build up some nice combo just on killing these guys, shooting these guys repeatedly again. So, oh, there's two automatic ones on this level. Apparently, I was that was a complete lie about them not having automatic for a while. Two shots to kill a normal Lizzlefoss, and more to de-armor these fuckers. Yeah, just wait for them to actually explode before you actually know they're dead. And I'm going to try and proceed quite slowly in this one, because there's not actually that many enemies. And this, it's a fairly linear arena, so you will just come across all of them. So it's actually better to take your time... I'm saying it again, it's actually better to take your time and slowly kill everything. I'm like, yeah, I've been saying that for the last 40 minutes. Can I take out these Beamos? I can. Did I lose my combo for it? Maybe. Nope, I don't. Sweet. I'm going to use these auto fire shots well, actually. Right, where's this fucker? Pew! Pew! Oh, I lost that fucking... Automatic is really the bane of combos. It is also immensely fun, though, so it really is a bit of a trade-off. Well, I mean, you know what I said about I was going to go... Oh, Beamos! What I said about going to, I was going to go slowly and carefully. That was... Turned out, that was a lie. Oh, well, we're going to get all of them anyway with, like, 13 seconds to spare, so... I'll just build up some combo on these ones, so at least when the 500 thing comes at the end, I'll have some combo. There we go. So the, oh, it's only times four, so it doesn't appear to be based on whatever you are. Oh, spidery thing's up there. Was that enough? I don't think that was quite enough. Oh, that was enough for silver. Excellent. Silver, I'll take it. I've not got a bronze yet, so I've been all on sterling silver rather than shameful bronze. Well, th wait, I've not even got a single gold, have I, technically? I think I've got all... Oh, no, I've got a gold. I was going to say, if I've got all silvers and one spooky gold, that'd be weird, but yeah, I did get a gold on that one. Right, level eight. Horseback target run. That was a bitch. Snowpeak wolfpack. Bitch. Dark Knight Jewel. Fun. 
So we start with bitch number one. Ride a pony across Hyrule Field and shoot the bullseyes. Consecutive hits boost your score. This is another one where you're kind of constantly moving for it. Technically, I don't think, yeah, you can't actually look around, but man, I find this one super challenging. Um, don't know why, but we'll see. There's a bit of a delay in hitting those distant ones because they actually need time for your arrow to fly over there. Uh, this is still split into 20 second chunks, this one as well. So it kind of freaks me out because I keep thinking I've missed them. Oh, sweet, it's evening now. That's cool. I appreciate that. Ah, oh, dick up. Well, wasn't the end of the world at least. I've actually... No, I haven't done already. I've been terribly. Because um, I'm only going to get a couple of thousand in the end. Fucking tree, man. What is the bullshit? Hehehe. <laughs> that was fun. I enjoyed that. And I got a decent enough combo going. Wallop. Yeah, 50 times 12. That's good. That's like... 600. Man, that took me way the fuck too long. Uh, that's embarrassing. Okay, let's be really... Oh, literally about to say, let's be really careful there, and I dicked it up literally while saying how careful I was going to be. I am I'm not a smart man. Hey, 5,000 is not great. Really need a combo on that one to do anything useful. Oh, my wrist is starting to hurt. Obviously, I've recorded this in the same session as the last one. And, yeah... That's the other thing with motion controls. They hurt. Man, I'm so soft. Anyway, Snow Peak Wolf Pack. pack pa, pa, pa. Man, fuck my life. Something about a pack of Wolf Oss coming. Uh, I'm going to start off with an automatic, actually. It's really weird music, folks. This really quiet, peaceful music. I really probably don't need the automatic here. I'm actually probably just causing myself more problems. I guess the automatics are a kind of easy mode if you want to take them, but I mean, there's very few situations where I'd actively I'd suggest taking them. Oh, here we go. This looks like heavy bullshit over here. Right, I'm actually going to go into manual mode from now on. See if I can actually score a bit higher. I've scored all right there, but it could be a lot better. Man, these guys just jump the fuck up, don't they? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah, dicks. This is, this is, this mechanically, ooh. Some more jumping over that. This mechanically doesn't seem to be much different to the Moldor Mambush one, but for some reason I'm struggling with it a lot more. Well, I say struggling with it, I'm on like 15,000, so I can't be, can't be struggling that much, can I? Yeah, I got 5,000 points for doing the thing, so that's good. Yeah! Man, struggling, he says, getting 31,000 in a single fell swoop. Um, as opposed to multiple fell swoops, which isn't really a phrase. Should be able to grab silver, as long as I don't dick up on this one. Oh, Dark Nut Jewel, this one's... Hmm. Well, we'll see. It's potentially fun, but you don't get any points unless you actually kill the fucker. But hey, we get a cutscene. <laughs> Worth noting that you move around in this one, and this Dark Nut handles quite differently to the one in the real game. As in, he, he has the power to unleash bats. And so it's all about, as much as you can, building up a combo while fighting him. Um, just so that when you actually finally get to do to kill him at the end, you get a lot of points for that, obviously, and you want to have a decent combo by then, but... There's your chance. Basically, once he's swung his sword is your is your moment to offload into him. And I think during this mode, do you wait for him to do an attack or something? Man, he is he's fast. I'll just block that. Go on. Attack me! Hit me! Well, this is fun, isn't it? I'm going to try and circle around him. Fuck it, I'm going to hit him with a bomb arrow. Get shit on! Oh, you can dodge those. That's annoying. Ah, dodge that, bitch! Is that it? Did I just murder him? Oh, is he? he's the bats, isn't he? Yeah, he's the bats. That makes a lot of sense. Hey, get shit on. Maybe I just have to, yeah, kill as many of the bats as I can while he's in bat mode. Oh, here's the knight! Oh, we got him there. Oh, nope. It's really quite tough to actually keep track of what's going on in this boss fight. Oh, I'd be nicer if he came back smaller every time you... Debattered him, but alas, no such luck. Go away, go away! Oh, right in the dick. Wow, 500 times 16. That was awesome. I think I got silver in the end. Is he going to turn into more bats? Nope, no bats. Well, that was fun. Now we go into the finale. Because this game does actually have a rough equivalent of a boss, which is kind of cool. I say rough equivalent. It is a boss. It's absolutely a boss. It's a boss that you should recognize if you watch the series. 
Do we need any kind of a progression to get through to the final level? Nope, not at all. Excellent. All on ranch defense. Sacred Grove puppet battle and fossil style lord battle. Yeah, it's got a boss from the real game, which I think is quite cool. Anyway, rescue the goat from the Bokoblins. This is one of the few bits that isn't at all in the game. Um, this, this never happens. Um, because yeah, Bulblins, Bokoblins overtake all on ranch and start riding on the goats. And you need to stop them from doing that. So obviously you lose points here for hitting... Oh, fuckers. You lose points for hitting the goat, so... So, so don't do that. Also, the, these things are really weird. Bright blue and bright red buckle bins you also never see in the game. So I don't know whether this was just made up entirely for this, or whether this is actually a reflection of beta content that was supposed to be in the game and, and never made it in the end. Oh, I missed one shit. I'm doing all right so far, actually. Um, just because, yeah, combos. Oh, dude, can I just pump that barrel for points? Oh, fairy. That gives me an extra thousand. I'll take it. I don't think I get any combos on it, but... Oh, they get parachuted in now by, by bats! That's weird. Well, keys. Man, they are fucking everywhere. This is way more enemies than actual Twilight Princess could handle without a considerable frame drop. Oh yeah, they're like being carried between them by three um, guys. That was weird. Anyway, 24,000. Decent enough. You get a shit ton of points if you actually kill the final boss, so we should be able to hopefully get spooky gold on this. Anyway, onto the second one, which is Sacred Grove Puppet Battle. Ugh. These fucking creepy bastards again. And this fucking music. I believe they take two shots to kill one, so be, be aware of that. Oh, Skull Kid himself. There's an automatic, but I'm not going to take it, because I, I like my combo. Though I imagine this could be quite fun with automatic, so we'll see. Ah, fuck. You really got to kind of count each how many times you've hit each one to make sure you if you're not wanting to overshoot and ruin a combo. Make sure you only shoot each one twice. That one's red. That's gotta be important. Yep, gets 100 points. That red one really looks like an enemy out of Mario Sunshine or something like that. I don't know what it is about it, but it's something. Fuck it, 8 seconds left. Let's get automatic. I think you can get extra points there if you actually kill Skull Kid himself, but obviously I didn't do that. And on to the final stage, the boss! On to Fossil Twilight... Oh, idiot. Twilight Fossil Style Lord. I think this has probably been more like a 27, maybe 30 minute episode. Uh, but who knows, I might cut it down. Let's go! So confusingly, Twilight Fossil Star Lord has Armagoma's music, but you can look around and basically he'll fire some shots in at you, but what you need to do is aim for his hand there. If you hit that thing on it, you just need to shoot that point repeatedly and you'll break his hand off. He'll now start moving towards you with the other hand. Obviously, it gets easier to hit him the closer towards you he is. you got to wait for that hand to raise off the ground and then shoot the thing underneath it. Then he'll move it around, keep moving it like that. This is what we've been training that whole game for, is this boss battle in a sense. And he falls down, and then we offload some shots into that. And that's really how it proceeds. And it's a st I really like how they kind of integrated what is a normal like Zelda boss battle into this, including moment where you down the boss and have the do 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 section. Right. Ah, oh, go away, red bubbles. I don't need you here. Oh, he's getting spookily close. I don't like this at all. Ow! Fuck. Well, we really need to focus on taking those hands out. Go away. He's gonna fire more shit at me, isn't he? Fucking red bubbles, man. Okay, got to abandon. Throw caution to the wind there. There we go. One, two, three. Four, five, there we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, shit, fall over. There we go. And you got to repeat this three times, four times maybe? It's a Zelda game, surely it's got to be three times, right? Oh my god, a lot of red bubbles. Don't like, do not like. Right, just want to get one of his hands. Get the fuck away from me. Don't like him being this close. Right, now he's going to do a super hand attack where he like charges it up. Oh, and he's swapping sides and all. Yeah, if he gets this close, he's like, he basically raises the hand up and gives you an opportunity to hit him. But we shouldn't need that. Oh, fuck, maybe we should. Please don't breathe fire on me again. I don't want red bubbles at this close up. Come on, raise your hand in the air. Did he just close up the hand back? Oh, we're not even going to be able to kill him. Man, that is disappointing if the case. Come on. One, two...
Oh, six seconds. Man, I'm so annoyed. Ah, right, I'm gonna do that again. Off camera, obviously. Oh, I'm gonna have to do the whole fucking three part stage, aren't I? Man, that's annoying. So, on to his final phase again. Um, what The trick I learned this time was take out the red, red bubbles when they're in that kind of position. But if you can't, don't worry about it. Just basically focus on his hands. Don't let him get close. Oh, fuck. I let him get way the fuck too close. Well, he's doing the super hands thing. Might be too late for me. Man, if I fuck this again, I'm going to be super annoyed. Right. Got to make sure to take those red bubbles out super early. Oh, he's just doing the hand thing again. Two, three, four, five... I really improved on my scores for the first two missions in this, so hell, if I kill him here, I should get a shit ton of points. Hey, there we go. Oh, look at that. I think I broke 100,000 in total. Definitely got spooky gold. Yeah, it tells you how much if you improved your score on last time, so obviously I did with all those. Got spooky gold on the finale. Excellent. Do I get anything from that? Probably not. It's just going to say, like, yeah, well done you. There's a multiplayer mode on this. That, there's a practice mode that lets you practice any indi one individual stage rather than having to do all three. And there's a multiplayer mode where you're taking in turns. Uh, but, but that's it. Uh, doesn't reward with anything saying, well done, you even beat the game. That's it. I don't want to do Ukutaka practice again. I actually want to, want, to, want to say goodbye to the nice people. Return to title screen. So, that was in Crossbow Training, and that wraps up pretty much the entirety of Twilight Princess, including all bonus episodes. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to vote on my next series. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. And don't forget to, so will it be Mass Effect 2, or will it be Paper Mario 2, Thousand Year Door? Other than that, thank you very much, and I hope you'll join me next time for a new series, which will be Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Here's a trailer, thank you very much, and good day.